Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I asked you guys the other day if you wanted me to redo my video that uh, I filmed and then almost at the end, my computer decided to shut down, update, and erase. Um, and you guys said yes, yeah, so I'm going to go through. I'm not going to probably do the hour and a half that I did that day because I was having a blast, but I'm going to show you uh, a few things that you can do. And, um, you know, I love using products in ways that maybe they weren't intended or maybe somebody didn't think of, um, or maybe I just am very full of myself and think that I'm pretty snazzy and special <laughs> thinking of these ways. Regardless, well, let me talk to you for a minute. This, if you've been on my channel for a bit, you've seen the obsession I have with this mod melter. Obsession is saying it lightly, but I love it. And I've been playing with it a lot and finding different things to do uh, with it. So let me tell you a few things. Now, if you saw the other video I did um, where I used it as a faux embosser. Now, if you guys know what UT is, I think it's ultra thick embossing enamel. Um, which you melt and then you put on things, which I have the machine and I did ask, be, I, when I meant, when I saw this, showed this, hello, Kelly. Hello, how are you? Speak English. Okay, here I am. Um, when I showed this, a couple of you asked for me to use the UT, uh, show you guys what the uh, embossing enamel was. So I will be doing a video on that coming up, but you can get a faux enamel look with this because whatever part of the uh, mod melter is showing, so you could see how flat that is, but the part that got the air is very shiny. Now, I don't know why. This is something I did as well. This was the part that was to the mat. And then this shiny part was the part that came, that was up, right? And I even mixed a little silver in there for a little something, something. I don't know. Um, but you can use this on your uh, scrapbooking ATCs. That's what got me started on all this, which I'll talk about. So you see... It came out, whatever part, I don't know why this happens. I really don't. Um, but I love it because it makes it versatile, versatile, versatile. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I dig it. So um, you can have flats or you can have shiny. Now I'm using my craft mat. A little piece of advice to you. Clean off your craft, craft club. I, I am just today too much coffee. Um, clean it off because obviously I did not clean mine off and I have some speckled delicious ickies on there so you see what i'm saying so save these remelt these in the uh i'm going to show you the melting pot that i have in another video and use these or save these and use these for um your art book you know your uh atcs art journal mixed media you know what i'm saying okay so that's done and this like i said is the faux the reason it's so shiny and looks so delish is because when I lay this down um, on this, oh, this is a cardboard, you know, one of the sticky flowers, uh, sticky uh, butterflies, but they come in flowers every, every shape you could possibly want. You can even cut these and make them into whatever you want. And then I just put it on there and it's faux embossing. So how delicious is that? Okay, next. All right. <laughs> So uh, let me show you, go through these real quick. In case you didn't see the video that I put up mentioning these, I'm going to link it uh, down below and um, go check it out and then to see about these and then we'll do another one. Um, before you write me nasty email, e emails about my nails, as you can see, I have this one, I have this one, I have this one. This one broke and all, of, all the other ones broke actually. Um, I got new medication and my nails are as soft as can be. So I've been putting, uh, you know, nails on to kind of like help them grow because they keep breaking down below. And yeah, I know they're a mess. Yeah. I got to redo my nails. Yeah. That's just life. Okay. I get emails. I can't help it. Some people don't like to see my nasty hands, my fingernails chewed. Now here's another example. Um, real quick, because I get so excited. You can see I put this in a uh, faceted mold, right? In one of the, uh, let me move this out the way, in one of the mod melt molds. And it's, you see, it's like that nice faceted gem. But look at this. Look how shiny the side is that was facing up in the air. If anybody knows why this gets so shiny and stays so shiny, let me know down below because I love it. I might even ask them because I, that's the kind of brain I have. I, I'd like to know things, but 
what I did was I did it silver and gold. Silver and gold. And uh, it was silver because I was cleaning out my mod melter to use the gold. And I kind of swirled it in. And this, I just want to stick on the top of my head, like on my cheek, my forehead, uh, and walk around with it. Because it's so delicious. Look at that shine. So, I'm sorry. That's my dog itching its ear. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. In the Donovan house lately, a lot of confusion. Okay. So that's very delicious too. Um, it's like a little good luck thing. And I'm going to be actually, okay. I know a lot of you will get this because you get me. A lot of you won't. I'm going to be making very special and delicious kind of um, little things like this and sending them out in random acts of kindness that I do as good luck things. I'm going to put good energy, positive energy, love, and everything else in it. I know some of you think I'm wacko, and some of you think, what what the hell? It's a piece of glue. But my true beliefs and, beliefs and, you know, some of others, and even if you don't, it's just good energy. Good energy. It's delicious. It comes from me in a good place. So I'm going to sit one day, and um, that's a whole other video, but and make a bunch of these in all kinds of cool colors and send them out. It's just little things to put on your craft uh, table or in your purse or whatever. Um, but I'm going to make a bunch of things and just just send these little things out there. It'll be cheap to uh, mail out because sometimes sending out random acts of kindness can be very expensive. Um, and, and sending out giveaways. Uh, speaking of giveaways, Plaid is honoring me to let me give away to you, one of you lucky, lucky, lucky people, um, $150 worth of Plaid products. And I will link that down below as well as somewhere around here, hopefully. And um, go check it out. I think you probably have five or six days more to enter. Um, I know some people do not have Twitter and they're not happy about the fact that Twitter is how you do it. Um, however, Twitter is free. You don't have to have anybody follow you. All you have to do is sign up to Twitter. And once you do that, uh, it'll open up like four or five other ways to enter as well. Um, so yeah, so I got close to 500, so, uh, people entering already. So that's quite a bit anyway. So yeah, so, uh, you know, so I just want to start doing this for some goodness. I think we all could use a little bit of goodness and good luck now and again. Okay. Now, I made these the other day. And you can see, and these are all out of cardboard. Um, I did this with the painted finishes, the light rust. And I put it on there. And then I did just a couple rub-ons on there for, you know, some glossy excitement. And um, I did a faux solder around. Not very well, but I was practicing. And the reason I'm doing these videos is to practice some of the thoughts I have and some of the different ways to use these so um, I can see if they work or not. Now, I love the faux uh, solder, but I do have to become a little better at it. But um, I love it. And I put a hole in it because uh, if you want it as a pendant or what have you, again, playing around. Um, and yeah, so that was one that I did. And then I did this, which is out of scrapbook paper with some of the Mod Podge Sparkle on it. And I took a uh, flower from the uh, collage clay that I did and um, glued it on, painted it purple. And you can see here, this paper was purplish blue, right? It was this paper. But what happened was when I was faux soldering, it got mushed, like it like went on there. So what I did was I just said, oh, what would that look like? And I put it around going around there and I really dug it. So that's two different ways. You can have, you know, like faux solder or that, put that on there, painted it purple and then saturated it with two coats of the Sparkle Mod Podge, which is my new obsession. I hope that they uh, still carry it because I know a lot of you can't find it, you say. Um, so I'll find out about that. But and all that is, and it's very lightweight. I put a hole in the top and you can use it as, I mean, look how cute that would be. As a, I mean, honestly, I have to do it neater and all. It's just the concept that I like because I like doing concepts, but it could be a bracelet. You can make it a little smaller and make it a ring. Look how fun that is or a pendant or in your scrapbook, in your on your ATC, your art journal, your mixed media. You dig what I'm saying? Take my ideas and run, people. But yeah, I'm loving this, and I have a lot of ideas what to do with this. So that was another one. And then I had this, which I got, I got blue all over. 
when I was splattering paint because that's the new obsession as well. But this is a piece of double cardboard and um, I glued a collage clay piece on top of that and I painted it like a yellow green and then put a little bit of orange, put a, another collage clay butterfly with a little sparkly thing, glued it on and then I didn't finish this because um, I just didn't because uh, I want to put stuff around there and everything. And it's just, like I said, a idea for me to put uh, a sample for me to put away. So, you know, I know what I want to do. And this is double um, glued, which I'll talk about. And, um, yeah, you could, like I said, I could glue that on a painting, an ATC card. I mean, you really, and it's cardboard. And I'm going to talk about that in a second for those of you who did not see my other video. And then... These are papers that I cut out, or pieces of the papers that I cut out of scrapbook paper. And let's see, I thought I had two of these, but I don't. All right, so that I have that piece and that piece and that piece. And what I did was I just put these back to back. Now you can cut a piece of cardboard out and put it in the middle if you want it a little more uh, secure. And I glued it with the, uh, my, Sobo from Delta. Um, it is a premium craft and fabric glue. And let me see, let me see, does it say what it does? I guess craft and fabric. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I love it and I've been using it. So I glue them together or you can use your Mod Podge and then you can go to town and decorate it whatever way you want. These are podgeable glass domes and they come in all kinds of different sizes. Let me just show you. I mean, look at these and they are domed like resin, right? And you get these different shapes and uh, sizes. And then, so you can put it on. Now I have a hole in there, obviously for a uh, necklace or whatever I was doing, but look at that shine under there. So you glue it on that with your Mod Podge or whatever. And um, you get this delicious, delicious to put, you know, I love putting jewelry on uh, my mixed media girls that I do and all that kind of stuff, or you can use it in your art journal. Again, use it as a moon, use it as a sun, use it, whatever you want to do. So these are fantastic. And I will be using those in the future. Then I took, which, you know, this isn't anything really fantastical, but I took a, where'd it go? I took a rubber. I don't even think it's called rubber. No, what is it called? They're clear stamps. And I put a blob of uh, Mod Melts and I stuck the stamp in. And when it comes out, um, it looks like that. Now you can do this with, you know, I mean, whatever you want. But I like it because you get the shape and you can do it. I was thinking more of the lines of like a wax you know how you get the things that have the wax melt on the back and they press something in and it seals something? So I thought how cute for like if you're doing a random act of kindness or something like that to give like your own little professional stamp or to, for me, I was thinking of doing a my letter like K and uh, I want to do a heart or something and making my own kind of things. Anyway, my mind goes a million miles a minute, but that's something that you can do. And um, so I thought that was real fun. They come out no problem. And that is really fun. And if you guys want to see a demo of that, let me know. And then, of course, um, I'm playing with the um, Mod Melt, uh, what are they called, uh, molds themselves with this. And very steampunky. I wanted it to be like silver and gold. Silver and gold. Okay. And um, yeah, so, oh, just a blast with these. So let me just get on to, oh, last thing, last thing. I'm sorry. These, because I love using things for more than one thing. And because things can sometimes be expensive. And I know buying the Mod Melter, now you can go to your craft store and use a coupon, right? 40% off, 50% off and get it. Um, however, uh, I know they can be expensive and I know not everybody has the money all the time and I totally dig it. Um, so, you know, to use it for different things more than what it's made for, so to say, is exciting. So this is just a regular... You can get these at the AC Moore and all. And I took, look at how cute this is. I don't even know if I can even get it close enough for you to see. What a little face. 
Hello, little face. Look at that. And I just painted it with the brick red, um, which is a little mold right here, which I used the Mod Melter in, uh, what color was this? Oh, I think it was clear beach glass because I wanted to do beach glass, but there was a little gold left, as you can see. And so um, I just did it in there, and then I stuck that in this one, and it, it comes right out after it's dry. And so now I have these two, and these are so adorable. So that's something else you can do if you have these molds. And a lot of us who use clay or do whatever, we have these um, molds because they're pretty much sold everywhere uh, in the stores. And, um, yeah, so that's that. All right, so now let me talk about this. Let me what's over here. Cardboard, cardboard. All right, so this is cardboard, and it's called corrugated uh, cardboard. And <clears throat> what it is, is cardboard that's like kind of, let's see if I can get you a good, there we go. It's kind of cardboard that's glued together. Now, what I did was I glued two pieces together to make it sturdier, right? And that is what I did for this, is I made it double. I want it sturdier. I don't know why, but I was just playing. And the same, you know, with this E that I did. Um, so I wanted it sturdier. And I glued them together. So that is one way that you can do this. If you do not have corrugated cardboard and you just have regular cardboard, you can glue those together as well. I just used my uh, Mod Podge and glued them together. Um, but again, use what glue you have or whatever. Now, I did take a pair of design um, decorative scissors, and you can get these at the dollar store and all. And if you want it to be a little fancy, I'm not good at cutting. My hands are really bad lately, so excuse me. But you can cut and get, you know, some decorative uh, edges there if you want. Make, you know, you've done a little bit better. Or you could just leave it alone. And then I took some of my... Um, Painted finishes in concrete. I think it's light concrete, isn't it? Concrete, just call it concrete. Yeah, light concrete. And I put it on here, and then I wanted to add some more texture. So I'm going to show you how I get a little bit. I just painted this on. Now, remind, remember, this can be used for a million things. If you have cardboard, and, well, if you have cardboard, I'm going to tell you because I was going to do a video on it, but I'm going to just do it now. I painted this just regular with the painted finish, but I want it very, you know, like stone like. So I'm going to shake this up, which they, you know, sometimes you're not supposed to shake things, but I shake it. I'll shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Because I want that mixture mixed up. And what I'm going to do is. I'm going to take some of it and I'm just going to take a. A paintbrush, random paintbrush, random paintbrush, Cal. That means grab one. Okay. And I'm going to dip in deep like that. And I'm going to just kind of pat it on here. And the reason I go in deep <laughs> is um, because of the texture. It sometimes will drop to the bottom. And I want the texture. Now you can see how wet it is. And I want some of that liquid gone, but I'm going to tell you what else I like to do. I like to do this. Let me just show you. I'm just not going to go in as deep this time. I'm just going to kind of do this to show you. And I'm going to tap this. You can leave it dry. Or let me show you what happens. Let me move these out the way. Grab my heat gun. And this dries really well. And what this is going to do, I'm going to go back and forth on both of them. So I want a lot of this moisture out of here. So you can see it's starting to get some of that liquid out. And you can just leave it sit for 10 minutes to evaporate the liquid.
Just don't hold it too uh, long in one place. See if I can show you what I mean before I go into a um, menopause hot flash with the heat adding to it because <laughs> that's what happens. I'm going to use my Mod Podge scraper and let me scrape this. And what happens is it gets thicker. And it's going to be thicker on here as well. Because so I want it to be thick and stone-like. So I'm just going to kind of go in, mix it up a little bit. And you'll see. And you can use your paintbrush or, you know, whatever you, what, what's the scrapey thing called? I can't think what it's called. Yeah. I'm just going to push it down a little bit. Not much on there. I really want the look of, I want that like, And sit and play till you're happy with it. You know, whatever whatever way you want to roll it. Whatever way you want to do it. Just wipe this off. Now, I don't clean a lot of my supplies off, but with this stuff, I kind of do. Because, uh, especially, you know, I mean, you could see I got paint and everything on there. But I don't want so much with that texture, because this is kind of my um, scrapey thing. Is that what I'm saying? And then I'm going to do this for another minute. And then I'm going to put it aside and then we'll look at it when we're done with everything else. Now, what I want you to think about, I'm only doing this on a small piece of cardboard, uh, right? But imagine if you're doing this as a background or, was I off camera the whole freaking time? Are you even freaking kidding me? Anyway, look, I'm, I'm all off. To, I, like, I don't know what the heck's going on, but look at that delicious chunk. It's one of the times you want to see some chunk. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit more while we do this. And I will make sure I'm on camera. I am so sorry if I was off a of camera. I won't know till I go back to edit. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is show you this delicious silver metallic. And this can go on anything you want. Like, for instance, if I want to do, like, I'm going to take this. This is one of the um, podgeable glass domes. And I'm going to take, I think I only have clear in here yet. Maybe I should use the clear on the little one first. Let's do this. All right. So I'm going to take this one. And we'll do that in a minute. And this is just, you know, my little uh, piece of uh, scrap of paper with a little bit of Sparkle Mod Podge. And I'm going to go in here. And I have a little bit of the clear left in here, the beach glass. And you see I just put a little bit on there. And I'm just going to push it. I'm not going to push any more on here, but I'm going to kind of push it out to the edges. And if I need a little bit more, just put it on there. And I like it kind of domey, but, you know, so that means just put it in the middle and kind of let it do its thing. And then if you do those little drips, remember, the little drips. They're like little, uh, little gems. Now I can see this is going to run a little bit, so I'm just going to run this over the side. 
not pushing it. I'm just trying to melt it back up there and kind of form it that way. And I left a little room on the outside. So if I want to put some, um, whether I want to do some of the silver around it as faux um, solder or I want to use foil tape or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of push him to the side and quit sticking to me, please. Just, okay. All right. We're going to just, see, this is why, this is why I do videos to show you guys that I do stupid things. Why not? All right. Just get the heck out of my way already. Oh my God. Okay. Guess what? It's going to stay there. <laughs> I'm not going to move it. I just, today it's just not going to work. So I'm going to leave that there. Now I want to get the rest of this because I want the silver. It's almost done. Listen, use your molds. There comes the silver. Use your molds. If you have a mold sitting here and put it in. I could have done that, but I don't think that fast. So now what I want to do is if I take this and you can use one of your, this is a inch, I believe. And this is a quarter inch, I believe. So I'm just going to, you can do that and, and cut your circles out if you want. Or you can take your piece of um, scrap of paper. I'm going to just lay it there. And just cut around it a little bit. I'm not going to be too perfect right this second. Just so I can just kind of cut it out. I'm not being wasteful as you know, wasteful, but uh, it's just at least giving me an idea of how big it is. And so then what I'm going to do now, you can see, I got the, um, what's it called? The flat Kelly, 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 the concrete and light concrete. That's one coat on here. And if you see this, look how we got it all nice and textured. So that's how I like to do it, but I'm going to use this for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge in matte, but use, look, use whatever you want. Use whatever you want. And then I'm going to take that paintbrush, get some Mod Podge. And I'm going over this. I don't need, now you can keep that side on there and you can use it as the end, you know, the other side. So it's like kind of finished, but. I'm just doing this for you guys on here and then I'm going to lay. And what's nice about scrapbook paper is, um, you can use whatever you want. Do you know what I mean? You can go and use, uh, whatever colors you want, whatever theme you want. So I'm going to just push this on here. Oh, guess what? I don't think it's going to stick to that. How do you like that? That's a, that's a nice thing right there to just find out on camera. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's go here. <laughs> oh, there you go. I just saved you a little bit of glue. Okay. Come on, baby. Now let's go on. Okay. And what I like to do is take a book. I just want to throw some of this on here. I like to take a book. Or we could do this for a minute. I just want to like hold that down just for a few minutes. And I want it to stay down there the whole time because it'll dry and then lift that up. But just for a few minutes, I can push it down without getting hurt or gluey. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside to dry. And then I can just wipe the glue off here. Very easy. It's like silicone. So it does its thing. And I'm going to show you the initial and everything too, as well. So let's see what this is doing. All right. So this is almost dry and see how it adds like a, like a glass look to it. Very, very cool. Now, what can we do here? Let's do All right, I'm going to make sure it's the right side because huh, I'm going to put it in the middle and just move it around. I 
I want to see what this comes out as on the other side after it's dry. Now I wonder if I push it on my craft mat if it would pull up or just flatten. Hmm. I wonder. Let's try it. Because it kind of adds its own like solder around it. It looks really, really cool. So let's see what it does. Yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. So excited. And how I would do the faux uh, solder is you would just take your... Um, mod melter and you would take your mud melt in whatever color you want. I'm using silver and I just squeeze it out a little bit and then you just kind of, okay, that was my fault because I was looking in to make sure I was on camera and I can't do it. I can't do both. Excuse me. Let's, let's start over. Rewind. So what I like to do is I like to do a faux solder. So I have my cardboard, I have my mod melter with my metallic silver in it, and you can use whatever color you want. Imagine the fun. And then just do a little bit, a little squeeze will do ya. And then pull it along. I, see that's why I can't talk and do it. Okay. And then, look at that. Look how good. Of course I would do the end. You know what I'm saying? And then leave it dry because it dries very quickly. Sometimes, sometimes my brain takes a minute to, to understand what's going on in my, from my mouth and vice versa, if that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, you sit there. Come on, come on. Come on now. I'm having so, such a blast with these. I can't even stand it. But look how you get this soldered look. And if you want, maybe you want like a little thin line up here, just take it the same very little and just run it almost like you're just smearing it. And I always sometimes put it over here until I see it come out. So I know because sometimes it'll run out a little faster than I want it. Yeah, yeah. No, so I'm going to let that dry. Oh, gosh. This is so exciting. I can't even tell you how freaking excited I am. I shouldn't have this much fun. I really shouldn't be having this much fun. I love it. I love it. I can't stand it. So, so you can see the solder on the top. You can see the solder. And obviously, you would do this when you're all done, right? Once this is all decorated and done the way you want it, then... This is what you'll do, and it'll finish it off. I mean, look how cool. Faux freaking solder. Hello. Any color you want to do. Oh, the excitement. I'm afraid to lay it down. It'll stick, but I'm just going to lay that there. And then let's work on this bad boy, even though it's not all the way done, but it'll be fine. Now I'm going to take stickers. Um, I'm going to do a, like an initial sticker. Now, listen. You can get these in um, small sizes, big. All these are are letters, right? I did E because of Emily, um, which I'll probably end up doing again. And that's all they are. But you can get these in. This is a uh, sticker that you can color. But you can get them in a million different colors, designs. You can get an animal and stick it here. You could take a picture of your animal, print it out and stick it here. You could do whatever. Just use your, your imagination or anything that's going to limit you. And so, you know, you find the middle. Now I can see this is a bit too uh, big for this cardboard. So you can go and cut it all off. You know, do your thing. Straighten it up, whatever way you want. And I'm just going to put that there. And then what I did was I took some, which I'm not going to do the little flowers today. Maybe, maybe I'll just, I won't color them because it takes, took too long to dry. So I put those in there and then I took the clear beach glass, uh, mod melt 
and melted it all over here. And I don't have that in right now. I got the silver, so. And then it came out like that. So you can see the difference. It vegged it out a bit, you know, kind of did that kind of thing. Um, but I like it. I like it. And like I said, if you're doing something for a little kid or even, like I said, we've got a, we're halfway through summer and you might be going nuts with the kids. So why not do something fun? Let them decorate cardboard. I am a recycling addict. I love cardboard and paper and bubble wrap and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I always try to incorporate it in some way. I use bubble wrap for my mixed media and whatnot. This is just cardboard. And if you don't have corrugated, use, you know, use regular cardboard. Our watercolor uh, paper books, uh, paper pads and all that has great cardboard on the back. Use that, you know, like just use your imagination. It's so much fun. The kids can do, you could do them in shapes. If you have different, um, these things, what are they called? Punches, do them in different shapes and that kind of thing. I mean, like it's endless what you can do. So like I said, I, I've been doing, like I said, the faux, the faux solder, the faux, uh, ultra thick embossing, uh, enamel, like all that kind of stuff. I just been having a blast. But this is kind of what you would do. And then I just took that clear beach glass and put it all over. I did put a hole in it. If you have a hole punch, you can get those at the dollar store as well. Punch a hole if you want it to be a pendant. I'd probably make it a little smaller than this because um, it does get, with the uh, beach glass on it, it does get a little bit uh, heavy. Uh, but, you know, you can make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever you want. And, yeah, so that's what I did with this. And, um covered it and it was fantastic and I loved it. So let's see what this is going to do. Yep. Oh, lovely. And look at the back. It's so shiny, even though I don't know why, but it is. But look how cool that looks. And it also looks like it got a little solder on the background, right? Around it. So I wonder if you put a pendant, a uh, bale on the back and made a nice, th this could be a really cool uh, pendant for somebody, right? Look how cool. Look how, I don't even know if you can even see the deliciousness in there. Imagine mixing colors. You were uh, gold with this or purple with the silver or pink. Like you could go absolutely nuts. Put a little glitter in there. Look at that. Oh gosh, I, I could go on and on and on. Um, I'm not going to sit and bore you, but this thing is one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my life. And I could just go on for hours, hours. I just sit down here and I'm probably getting high off the fumes. I sit down here for eight hours at a time doing different projects. Like, Oh, I could try this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I'm going to do this. I might see, I don't want to waste the silver because, um, I love these metallics. So I have another project that, that I'm going to do, uh, and show you guys, but it, it'll be in another video. Cause like I said, I, I want to, use a clear one in here. So, cause I like these metallics and, you know, plus I have this, um, which I'll you, I'll do that project with this. Don't ask. I'm blubbering to myself. It don't matter. And then you have all these delicious little, these little things. Look at this. It's a little dot and you could put it on your, it, 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 look at that. It's like the perfectly a shape dot ever. And you get these in all the different colors and you can just glue them on your ATC or your um, mixed media, you know what I'm saying? Art journal, all that stuff. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Seriously. And I'm going to show you what to do with the little bits and pieces like what I pick off here. Because it does leak a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, not here to lie to you. However... You just put it on a piece of nonstick, uh, you know, nonstick mat or, uh, which Mod Podge sells the nonstick mats as well, which I will use next time to show you guys, um, you know, or a piece of parchment paper or something to that effect. If you go to the dollar store, you can get Teflon sheets, um, that are for the oven to bake and you can use those as well for this. So it doesn't, you know, do anything to you, but yeah. I, I just could go on. Uh, I just could. I just could. But you know what I want to do? I just dropped something on the floor. You know what I want to do? I'm going to give you a word. Now, I know there's a handful of you guys out there that can't enter the contest due to the fact of you don't have Twitter and you don't want to join Twitter. And I get it. 
Um, although I don't know if a $150 prize would make me not join Twitter because it's free, but that's me. No judgment, no judgment. However, put down in the comments, in a sentence, and it's, you can do this even if you entered the contest. This is just a little, I love doing these little contests because, um, I don't know. I love you guys and I want everybody to win. So if I do little ones, then, uh, you know, y'all can win. I want you to say, I love the mod melter. That is what I want your sentence to be. Don't use it in any other sentence. Don't say just the word mod melter. I want you to say, I love the mod melter. Because I do notice people will just write down the word. Uh, if they see people just putting the word down or saying, oh, the word is whatever. So use it. Just say, I love the mod melter. I love the mod melter. And uh, I'll pick a winner and I'll send a little something, something your way. Don't know what that's going to be right now because I just came up with that idea. But I have stuff and I can, uh, I can send you a little something. You know, who doesn't like to get a little something in the mail? I don't know. Maybe it'll be a block or two of clay. Maybe it'll be a couple mod melts. Maybe it'll be, I have no idea. No idea. But now let me show you this last thing. I know I got to turn this off because I'll sit here and play all day and uh, I got other things I have to do. But this I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm living for this. Look at this. Look at this freaking thing. Oh my God. Good luck. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a good luck thing too. Good luck. Good luck things. I'm going to make a bunch of good luck things. Do you see what I'm saying? Everybody, I want everybody to be lucky. Mwah! Everybody to be lucky. Okay, now, now that I'm done making out with this delicious mod melt and uh, podgeable uh, glass dome, I know all of you are dying to get this now that my lips and spitter on it. All right, but look, look at this. Look at the texture that you get when you dry it a little bit. Now, do you have to put it on somewhere and dry it and then put it on here and dry it? You don't have to, but I will tell you this. I did put poop. I don't have it here. I even didn't even curse there. How you like me now? Um, I did use it and I let it, I just, oh crap. I um, didn't put it on here to dry as well, right? I did it just on here and I let it dry, which it came out fine, but it wasn't enough texture for me. So, because I like things of very texture. So I did it on here as well so I could dry it out. Now I would have probably even dried it more and then, um, you know, and then did that. I'm going to try to get this out. Yeah. If you're going to pull these out, do it while it's still hot when you first turn it off. Um, because then you can, when you heat it up again, it'll let out whatever's left in there and then you can put in your next mod melt. If you let it cool, um, it's going to be a mess and you won't be able to get it out very easily. If you have a little tip for that as well, let me know. But that's my tip because that's how I do it. Um, but if you do it like I did, you get double the texture. And I love this. I love this. So I'm going to be doing this in a couple different uh, projects that I'm doing. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little, like I said, this is on, um, this is what I am giving away. I'm giving away a few of these different uh, textures, ones in uh, moss and the concrete. And I'm given, and it's also, you get uh, folk art paint, 11 different colors of folk art acrylic paint. You get, I think it's seven different types of Mod Podge. You get a wooden bird uh, structure, so you can make a fairy house or a bird house or whatever the heck you want to do house. Um, and you get um, some of the Mod uh, Podge um Oh, poop. The uh, brushes that go with the Mod Podge to use, like the foam brushes and the brushes. You also get two brushes that go, because there are brushes to use with this, with these. Um, so you get two of those. So you get $150 worth of stuff. So yes, you have to have Twitter uh, to start it and unlock all the rest of them. But I did not do that on purpose. I've been using Rafflecopter for years. For whatever reason, that's the way it set it up for me. I use the free version. Um, they changed it. I don't know why. However, next time, yes, I will not put Twitter first. I will do it. Be subscribed to my YouTube channel when I do any other giveaways. I do my giveaways a lot and I use Rafflecopter every single time. So I will make it so, you know, a little bit better. I don't know why they changed it, but it was too late after I put it up. 
that I noticed it was changed. So again, you know the drill. Leave me a, a comment down below. And um, if you guys, I know oh, so many of you have went out and bought the mold, mold eh, eh, eh. again, mod melter. And you guys are having fun. And I am so happy that I can introduce you to this new best friend of mine, the mod melter from Plaid. Okay. I'm just saying. And I got more stuff coming up, more experiments I've been doing, but this is what I've been playing with and having a blast. And this is the, like I said, the painted finishes. And this is just, oh, God. can you imagine doing this on a birdhouse and then adding some green for some moss or red or whatever you want to do? And just, I can't even, I can't even. So that's it, my friends. That's it. I love you guys so much. You guys make me so happy. And like I said, don't forget the faux solder now. Come on. Please leave me a thumbs up if you guys like watching me. Share me around like I'm your loose friend. I appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Um, we're all out there, you know, fighting our own battles each day. Uh, sometimes worse than others. Um, the time can be. Uh, Know that I'm here. I love you guys. I'm trying my best to get back to all your emails and texts and messages and, and all that. Um, I'm not ignoring anybody. Um, but sometimes I have issues too. Um, YouTube saves me. Making my videos for you guys saves me every single day. Uh, this plaid stuff, yes, a lot of you have written me and said how it gave me a new lease on life and how I seem so much more uh, happier and more creative and whatnot. And honestly... I've said this before. I will say it again. This company is wonderful. This company is wonderful. I, the, the girl that I deal with, the woman that I deal I shouldn't say girl. I don't mean that disrespectfully. But the woman I deal with there is an angel. And she is so wonderful. She answers all my questions. And she's just lovely. And all these products rock. And this is a company that I am proud to, to promote and to use their stuff and to say, hey, I love this. And I wouldn't lie to you guys because you guys know you're probably sick of all these freaking uh, mod melt uh, videos. But guess what? I don't care. I love them. <laughs> I love this stuff. So, and like I said, I'm going to be doing giveaways. I got stuff I can give away and I'm going to do it. And you never know. It might be a little bigger. might be a little smaller. Who the heck knows? You never know. But I'm going to make sure that I share with you whatever I can from this wonderful, wonderful company and, and their wonderful, wonderful products. And that's all I'm going to say. So on that note, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you guys. I'm sending you every bit of positive energy that I have for you guys. You guys make me smile. You guys just blow my mind with your just wonderful comments and the time you guys make to share my videos, to share others' videos, to make this art community that we are in just fabulous. Just fabulous. So if you're still watching me at 48 minutes, <laughs> I love you guys. And do me a favor. Go over to Marianne McMillan's um, YouTube and leave her a nice comment. Send her some love. I think she can use a little, a little art community, a little hug because she's going through a little rough patch right now and I adore her and I know all of you who know her adore her. So go give her a little bit of love and all my love to you guys. Bye guys.